folks, welcome to the Sloppy Boys, where we take a deep dive into the drinks that you love. I'm Jeff Dutton with Michael O. Hanford. Oh, yes, I, I, did, I, I, oh. And Tim McCalpacus. <laughs> what is up, St. Patrick's Day stylies? Very nice. Tim McPacus and Jeff Hotasson. And Jeffy Heidi Doy. Tim Kirkpatrick. <laughs> oh, that's good. Tim Kirkpatrick's. I have been, now we were just talking a little bit about rehearsing because we're a band, of course, and we're going to. First and foremost, we're a band. First and foremost, this is a, a hobby, a side hustle that's mm-hmm. not really working. And we don't like it. It's more of a habit. Yeah, it's more of a, it's more <laughs> of a hassle than a habit. We try and break it every week, but we can't manage to do it and we <laughs> <laughs> record for an hour. Well, so we are, you know, we're going to, going to play in Chicago and Milwaukee. Second night in Chicago, already sold out. So Mm -hmm. get those Thursday ticket folks. Tickets, folks. And I also want to say, I have been jamming my bass over here like crazy. I go on YouTube. I put, go on YouTube and I put like, uh, you know, rock backing track for bass or <laughs> whatever for bass. And I'm, I'm working some A little scales. blues scale? Oh, nice. Ooh, I do blues. I do psychedelic rock. A lot of disco and funk coming over here. You do any funk <laughs> rock? <laughs> yeah. Huh? You do any funk rock? Well, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. No, but we, uh, we, I had a, uh, a fun time the other day. I, I came across this like very trippy, uh, like Pink Floyd style backing track and it was so easy to be like boom <laughs> oh yeah because <laughs> it's so slow you can just find whatever note is supposed to work <laughs> um <laughs> what do you think is the is the saddest instrument to play alone because guitar is cool alone bass. P- piano is cool <laughs> alone i feel like uh, there's something funny. I mean, if you're getting fancy on the bass, but it's, it's you think funny. bass, but it's not bass. <laughs> it's oh, not Mike bass. says it's not. He, I mean, <laughs> no, not. he just did it. So, but I feel like if you're just holding the root notes, it would be pretty funny. <laughs> <That is> funny. <laughs> but I uh, no, Tim. I'm trying to find. I'm trying, I'm seeing the chord structure. I'm trying to see find ways to crawl up to those next ones. Get a, you know, jump up octaves. Wham. Mike, are you doing the arpeggios? The, ar- oh. the, the, the minor and the major, because we use those in Santa Ana Winds, One my, Last Bender. My whole uh, th- bass theory is built around the arpeggios. <laughs> <laughs> what I know. <laughs> wow, the, the Hanford method. <laughs> Hanford method is find that major arpeggio and okay. run it, baby. I would also say that maybe every bass player who's ever lived sort of based their mm-hmm. method on the arpeggios. you got to be. Yeah, and Mike's no different, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you're, right, you're right up there with the greats. That's You've got to be very, or, uh, very comfortable with those arpeggios. It's, it's you and Vi- you and Victor Wooten have that in common, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but did you have that, <laughs> Jeff? You were, I guess, saxophone's kind of cool. But I, I, in school, I played uh, trumpet. Mm, yeah, it's, it's dorky to bust out that trumpet by yourself. Any, kind of any of those instruments at that age are dorky because it's just like the, the classroom vibe. Yeah. Or like uh, if you want to be on the drums, because I remember my brother wanted to do drums and it was like, okay, you can do drums, but you start with a snare. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, that sucks. And even saxophone, I was like, I want to play the sax. And they were like, cool. So here's this clarinet and you move to sax next year. And I insisted, <laughs> sax now. <laughs> <laughs> I demand. I do remember after school waiting for like my mom to pick me up from school. And I would like wait under the band room, which was next to the gym. Mm. If I had a little time, I'd wail on that sax and it would like, <laughs> if I had even have like the, the tile, you know, like I would be like all kind of alone, Ooh. Not, not alone. I don't want to make it sound <laughs> that lonely, but, uh, I did find out that like the, the athletes could hear me and I was embarrassed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. But I like the reverb. <laughs> Is the king Someday of school. Someday I'll be the prom king. <laughs> and then the principal. Why, why is he singing? <laughs> hey, from prom king to principal. I like that. Not bad. Uh, one time <laughs> I went to Guitar Center. That's a sitcom idea. On the Sunset Strip, I, w- hmm. I was in the Guitar Center and I walked over to uh, one of those electric drum kits and I oh, put yeah. the headphones on. And I sit down and, you know, I'm a bad drummer, but this, I was just going nuts like I was Animal uh, or or Keith Moon, (laughs) 
who animal's based on. And I was going, stop, 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 going nuts, thinking I'm really good. This actually sounds kind of cool. I'm doing some fills. Well, yeah, well, look at this. And then <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm playing. And then I'm, I uh, take the headphones off and I like put the sticks down on the stair and it goes, it goes and I go, <gasps> <gasps> oh, the fucking really headphones were not plugged in. And my and the the sound was turned way up on a speaker and blasting through the uh, whole fucking store. Everybody <laughs> saw me being a dork on there. Public for all to hear. Oof. Yeah. Um that's gotta be kind of um terrible to work at Guitar Center and just hear people all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's like the it's a, it sounds torturous. It's like the the no stairway. stairway to heaven thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oof. I go in there, I I you know, I'll pluck around on some of the chords I know. <laughs> You did some good stuff. I try not to get in too deep. I hate that when a when a salesman is helping me out with a guitar, guitar watching me, and I'm like, "Can you turn your back? I'm gonna. I would just want to play a power chord real quick." <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like, at okay. me. Can you play this room <laughs> like Van Halen would? <laughs> You're very strict with him. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been practicing your Van Halen, my boy. Ooh, Jeff's typing away over there. What's he typing? Yeah, what's he clicking? What's he clacking? I'm looking at pornography. He's tapping that keyboard the way Van Halen would tap that neck of the guitar. I'm looking up These, tabs. No, you're going uh, note to self. Get two new co-hosts. Yeah. Hey. Mod. Yeah, monster.com. Looking for two new ho- co-hosts. Monster.com. <laughs> <laughs> we see the listing on there. What the <laughs> fuck? Wait a minute. Party, Los Feliz Party Rock Band seeks bassist and guitarist <laughs> that's what would happen these days if the, the you know the um the pina colada song how mm-hmm. they respond mm. the couple res- each responds to the classified hey, if you like pizza a lot <laughs> yes they each are trying to cheat they each put they they, 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 they respond oh, they, they yeah. go through the classified ads and they find, went up on a date together and they laugh about it these days if that happened it would be on monster.com <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. Well, yes. maybe one of the dating apps. For a but job, I know what you yeah, mean. For, Same type of thing. For more for jobs. <laughs> if it were more work related, <laughs> right? It was work related. If they ever did a work related version of that song, said in these days, it's not a husband and wife. It's a, a boss and a, a, a boss and potential an employee. employee. A boss and an employee. <laughs> an employee as a posting for a. Uh, actually, no. That is I, that would be a funny kind of a sketch. What we should do is a, a boss is trying to replace an employee, puts a listing, and then the employee shows up. They're like, ah, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy he fired shows up. <laughs> well, he hasn't fired him yet. He's just he's trying to replace him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. So they weren't broken up yet in that. Okay, okay. I need to listen to that <laughs> song again. And I also need to remember that it is not Jimmy Buffett who sings that song. No, it's Rupert Holmes. Rupert Holmes. Rupert Holmes. Wow. Yeah. You want to get into some booze news? Yes. Hit it. Gardens of Gomorrah Jig was a little St. Patrick's Day treat sent to us by Harglebarg. And if you have a booze news theme, email it to the Sloppy Boys Podcast at gmail.com. And if you want to become buds with Harglebarg, you sign up for our, you know, subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash the Sloppy Boys. Mm-hmm. Then you get to hear our other podcasts and then you can also join the Discord. And there's Harglebarg's on there all the time. You can see videos of him. Shooting stuff. I feel like at one yeah. point he had a gun on there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all that nice stuff too. Did, was it a sword? Was he sw- s- slashing stuff with a sword or shooting things with a shotgun? I think Ooh. he had a sword. Either way, stay out of his way. Maybe you don't want to subscribe. Uh, it's a little dangerous. <laughs> no, it's it's good in there. <laughs> it's very good. That was a good one. It took me a second to realize what we were listening to. Yeah, I was also thinking, are these real instruments or like MIDI? That's real. That's hard-earned instrumentation. Yeah, I, I like the take on the 
everybody knows our hit song, Garden, Gardens of Gomorrah, has a <laughs> little sample that's made by us and Money Mark through some very fancy little techniques that you may just hear about in a documentary someday. Mm. Um, but I liked his take on it was... Oh, yeah. That's great. Like it, it. Yeah, that's great. Shit. I didn't put that together so much. It took me till the other part to pick it out. Um, I also, I was thinking some, uh, uh, at somewhere in Gardens of Gomorrah, there's a little phrase, uh, the phrase that pays, that sounds like a real song that exists. And I remember Mark pointed it out when we were recording and I was like, ah, I think that's public domain. It's fine. And I just Googled it right now and it's not public domain. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another song that might send me to the fucking chair to fry. Why are you because talking I'm, about it here on this public forum? I'm a melody thief. <laughs> Tim, don't leave the clues. People are going to sniff you out. Yeah, that's true. And it's one of those things, once you once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Like, I ruined another one of the Sloppy Boys songs on here yeah. one time. And now pff, it's fucking banished from the, from the discography, basically. Well, you're also one of those criminals who, like, you feel bad about it. So, like, your subconscious is, like, giving you away all the time. Telltale Heart. Mm-hmm. Wait, it's out of that we took it off the uh, album. <laughs> it's, it's off our discography. <laughs> um, it just, it just, sh- it didn't become the hit that it deserved to be. I think. Oh no, nothing we do becomes the hit it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, hmm, it's almost like it doesn't deserve to be a hit. <laughs> hmm. Weird. That's kind of weird. The phrase "talentless" comes to mind. Go ahead, Tim. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's the booze news? I want to hear news about booze. Um, did you guys see this? Um. Uh, no news story. <laughs> <clears throat> this was a video that uh, I saw. Some people sent it to me and I said, Oh, that's a funny video and it pertains. Mm-hmm. And then I noticed, wait a second. That's just not one video. That first video blew up and now it's a TikTok trend and everybody is doing a little something called, uh, but there's tahine on the rim. Have you seen this? No. What? A trend? It's, it's, a, it's a TikTok trend where, I mean, that's what you call it, right? Everyone, when everyone's doing the same sketch over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Um, where you sit, somebody's sitting with a drink, like a margarita or something with tahini on the rim, and they're listening to a friend tell a really sad story. And, but it says like POV, you're telling a sad story, but there's tahini on the rim. So it, it'll, um, who I brought, I brought the clip, Jeff, hit play on the, uh, it's always this audio. Great. And then I found out my mother was killed. And then the very next day, I found my dog dead. And then, boom, my house burst into flames. And like. <laughs> so it's like you just play that clip, and then during the course of it, you politely, like, you're listening, like, oh, oh my God. And then yeah. you steal a little lick like of your Sneaking little licks and little <laughs> nips <laughs> off the tahini. <laughs> just yeah, someone pointing out that it's like uh, a margarita with a, with a tahini room is a really hard thing to be having if you're like having sad drinks with somebody. Um, but it blew up and it's huge. And I just, uh, I wanted to bring it here to Booze News to sort of just use it as a piece of proof that Mike Hanford is always right there with the culture, mm-hmm. right there w- before the zeitgeist gets there. Hanford is there. I do yep. bump up against it from time to time, don't I? Then it blows up and he's nowhere to be found. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm on to the next thing. <laughs> Good. You like the tahine rim? Fine. I, I drank those last year. Good. You're on to the next thing that no one cares about yet. You won't get credit for. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about and just so happens to be a uh, TikTok thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Mike, you should shoot one with your tahini teeny. Uh, maybe yes. it's a good way to kind of fold it back into the public consciousness. Right. Then mm-hmm. I'll put the I'll put the list of the ingredients. Ooh, you very know what? Good. This reminds me very much about the uh, documentary we discussed on the blowout this week. That's about, right. Uh, who who gets credit for Von Dutch? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it blew up several times. But it was, you know, not everybody got all the credit they deserve, maybe. Who gets the credit and who gets the blame? Ooh. You know, Von Dutch turned out to have some uh, Nazi leanings. Mike, when you kind of designed your tahintini, you weren't into any of that stuff, were you? None of that. None that of that. Is not at all. All. I keep that away from me. <laughs> I keep that away from me. That is not what the tahin martini is about. Or Grimace Piss. Or... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the, the Russian, Russian route. route. No. You should put out a statement like we see your Instagram, <laughs> and there's this like salt text like the Tahin Teeny does not stand with Nazism. <laughs> <laughs> Oh talking about a do- referring to a documentary from uh, years ago, <laughs> several years ago. 
Oh wait, that documentary was old. I thought it was new. Yeah, I no, I wish it was a couple new. years old. Yeah, uh, it was a it was a couple years old. But it was pertinent because we're we're talking indie sleaze so damn much. And if I want to hear more about that, I should subscribe to the Patreon and get to listen to the blowout. It's a really funny show. Yeah, plus That's that bonus right. friendship with Hargelbarg we talked about. Mm. Yeah, that ain't bad either. I feel like w- when we if we. We really want people to subscribe to the Patreon because it really is a good show. But if we plug it too hard here, this starts to just feel like a PBS telethon all the time. Good. <laughs> good. I would love to be as rich as those PBS hosts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what if we, though, we just did the show like this. We never mention uh, the Patreon, but then it bounces out to the three of us going, are you enjoying the episode? <laughs> us too. <laughs> and if you like quality programming like this. You know? That's good. Us oh, too. We're enjoying this too. I used to just sit and watch that shit, like at, at my grandparents' house in a a, a, a basement in uh, Montreal. I just sit there all day watching people be like, "When for viewers like you, you could get this tote bag." And I'm like, "Wow, all day <laughs> wow, wow!" I can't wait till it gets back to cats. <laughs> yeah, that was the funny thing. Those commercial breaks and those things seemed like 20 minutes long. Yeah. It's like, we're going to get right back to uh, Mozart does uh, Mendel in just a moment. Ugh. Mozart does the limbo. <laughs> <laughs> Mozart gets a little nasty. He's going to get his dress caught on the floor or something. <laughs> um, I've never seen Amadeus. Have you? Mm-hmm. Yes. We got to watch. You got to do a blowout. That's yeah, a good one. Good because we're kind of three Solieri's, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a Mozart among us. Yeah. <laughs> Missing our Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, 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 a classified ad we should put in the newspaper. <laughs> missing our Mozart. A picture of the three of us all hopeful. We're missing our Mozart. <laughs> us, <laughs> musicians, you, <laughs> the glue that will bind us for We want to have a four piece band, but right now it's just a <laughs> shitty trio. What would a Mozart do with three guys like us? We need a Mozart level. We guy. need a conductor. That would be good. Somebody to keep time for the drummer. That, that would be, be cool. great. <laughs> you had your own down back there. A full time <laughs> other employee just to keep the drummer. It keeps on me track. accountable for you guys. That's hey, great. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that uh, Bradley Cooper from Mice. He coops. Oh, yeah. Come on. He, yeah, was he great. can't get coops. Shit. He's too big. Well, is that it for booze news? Wrap it up. That's it for booze news, folks. And then we turn our attention to the drink of the day. What what was the day? Where is it? Saved by the bell. Friends. Ah, Ah. Friends, Ross, Joey, sure. Uh, All right. Well, we got now we're talking about the drink of the day and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to talk about it for mm, a few moments and then we'll get on to making it. This is a mic drink. This is a my now I didn't invent this, but this no, is a drink no, sort no, of no, no. I think figured out on uh, online. But we are today talking about the Shamrock Shake from a Mickey D. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Yes, yes. The same place that sort of birthed the grimace piss. Uh, in a way, the Shamrock Shake. It did inspire it in a way. In a way. And it's this, we're doing the spiked shamrock shake here. We're not just going with the original. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> the boozy shamrock shake. Now, uh, the, the, um, the uh, recipe we're going to use is you buy a small shamrock shake from McDonald's and you put two ounces of whiskey in there. Small? I didn't know there were sizes. Mine's maybe big. Oh, we just set that on the, that's fine. Okay. It, it's just I think be small little... because the, the there's small, medium, large, small is 12 ounces. I think it's like 12, 16, 22. Fuck. Or, or, and, well, mine's and, not 22, but yeah. Okay. Well, you'll just, you'll have a little less uh, boozy taste in yours, yeah? I'll just kick it up. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, you and I, me I handle the booze. <laughs> you get the calculator out, you do the math. Uh, the the uh, history of the shamrock, the boozy shamrock shake is not existent online, but here are some uh, just shamrock shake. Uh, uh, facts. McDonald's made this little sucker in 1970. It was Rogers Merchandising, this company in Chicago created it for the company. Uh, let's see. It was first made with lemon lime flavor and vanilla ice cream, uh, huh. lemon lime sherbet, and vanilla syrup. 
<laughs> this next I'm reading this on Wikipedia. This next sentence is funny. By 1973, the shake was merely a green colored vanilla shake. <laughs> <laughs> merely. Things had gotten so low. <laughs> Eliminating the lemon lime sherbet. It is now mint flavored. Uh, Shamrock shakes were sold uh, only in the United States, Canada and Ireland. How about that? Hmm. Uh, we've mentioned him, this guy on the uh, the pod before, but Uncle O'Grimacy, uh, Grimace's uncle, yes. uh, a relative of Grimace who, <laughs> Grimace who came to visit in March. <laughs> he came around to, to uh, market the Shamrock Shake. Uh, what can I, uh, there's one other thing I thought was funny about this or interesting. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. The Shamrock Shake wasn't nationwide until 2012. Did you realize that? What? Huh? It was just Chicago? Well, I don't know. I, that, I like it's regional. just on this. I'm on the uh, probably regional. I'm on the McDonald's uh, website. Ten fun facts you probably didn't know about the Shamrock Shake. <laughs> I mean, there's probably it's there's it's probably just, hundreds of facts. Yeah, about the Shamrock Shake. Tell it's me pretty, next to anything about the Shamrock Shake. I don't know it. <laughs> Did you have it as a kid or like... Yeah, do you following years of Shamrock Shake fandom, the iconic shake went nationwide for the first time uh, in 2012. Yeah, Jeff, I th- I think I... Uh, I don't know. I can't I remember. Didn't have it as a kid, no. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I have a, a... I've implanted a memory. I've incepted a memory of it, but probably not. I think, Tim, I think I have the same thing where I don't believe I had it, but... It being so popular, I must be like, oh, yeah, we used to have those all the time. I would get McDonald's as a kid, but... um. Are you guys like Shamrock Shake? Is it? Does it stick out to you? Do you, you try to get it? Or I know you guys no, are more no, into McDonald's than me, but you're, you're not Shamrock Shake guys. No, I, I've no. had them and I, I like them, but it's not one of these things where it's like, oh, I got to make sure I get one. It's not, it's not like, you know, some people have the same thing with uh, Girl Scout cookies. Oh, right. right. The you seasonal know, treat. Which that is around now, right? Yeah, yeah. that it's right now. And that, that seems more passionate. I am... Um, I did have, I am into the Shamrock Shake because I'm not really a, um, a McDonald's guy, but March 2020, when the, when the COVID lockdown first, first, first happened, mm-hmm. um, you know, one of, when, when it was like really shut down, one of the only joys on earth was like going out for a long drive. And I remember driving through McDonald's, getting a Shamrock Shake and liking, it wasn't my first ever, but it was the first time I really thought about it. And ah. yeah. I, I like vanilla shakes and I liked it. It's so mildly mint flavor. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but after that, I remember that. So those first few weeks I had one and I was like, well, this is good. And then I, we'd be going on these like long drives up to like Castaic or down to Lake Elsinore or something, drive through McDonald's. And then the thrill was like, you know, uh, March is over. But, <laughs> yeah, so, but oh, right. I right, pull into right. some places. It's like it's like April third. I'm like, you guys have any Shamrock shakes? They're like, no, sorry. And then I go to another McDonald's. You got any Shamrock shakes? I'm like, yep. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> you get the last one, <laughs> Tim. You bring up a very good point. I went out to McDonald's today to get my Shamrock shake. Start pu- punching it in the uh, machine. They were out of Shamrock Shake. Oh, no. Which, I also now that I'm thinking about that, what are they out of? The mixture or? The green. Yeah, the green, the, green. <laughs> the powder. It's like dairy green. mix, I think. Uh, so, but on the way home, I found myself a little uh, make your own shamrock shake or boozy shamrock shake recipe that I'm going to use. Oh, Michael. And I kind of had to think of what I had and take is it, different is things. Is it creme de menthe? Yep. I'm going to use uh, vanilla ice cream, creme de menthe, uh, vanilla extract a little bit. Wow. And it said vanilla rum, but I think I'm going to stick with the whiskey because that's what we're doing today. Hey, we got vanilla sure. vodka, Mike. I know. All right, sorry. Uh, vanilla vodka, not vanilla rum. Vanilla vodka, which is perfect. But I do want to do the uh, Irish whiskey. The Irish one. Yeah. Um, now, when we post selfies online and everyone sees that me and, and Jeff have shamrock shakes and you have some weird homemade concoction, yeah. do you think you're going to get any flack on the net? At this point, I don't care. I, I don't. That does not. I've, I've, I, I've, you don't go on the net anymore, Tim. I've hit the mute button on that channel. Thank oh. you. <laughs> I've hit the mute button I've on hit that. The mu- oh, thank you very much. <laughs> wow. So they can talk all they want. <laughs> I've hit the mute button on that, on that channel. Thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh God. Guys, we did a, uh, we did a Twitch live, live stream, stream happy yeah. hour during that the pandemic. That was my first, that two was my first ago? Shamrock Shake. I remember that. And we did this. We, we, yeah, it was two years ago. It's still yeah. there. It's archived if you want to go watch it. And we did this and yeah, I mean, we, we did it with Jameson. I guess if you have any Irish whiskey or you would do whatever whiskey, whiskey, yeah, but Jameson. ideally it would be Irish whiskey. And 
We're just kind of pulling the numbers out of our, our ass, but you know, two ounces is the amount of alcohol you tend to use. And I think anything bigger than a small shake would be a little too much ice cream for moi. Mm-hmm. So let's I, see. I think I'm going to do a half one now and then make for my round two do the uh, smart the Mike. That's really good. Yeah. And we should say, Jeff, for our official yeah. recipe for this, when we post mm-hmm. online, we say like, first take a sip of your shamrock shake to make room for the two ounces of uh, Irish whiskey that's coming right. in. I f- keep forgetting too that it comes with whipped cream. I don't love that. Yeah. And uh, uh, d- because mine's been hanging out in the fridge for two hours, I'm sure it's all soupy and weird. Fridge? Oh. I've been bouncing mine back and forth from the freezer to the fridge. Really? Right, because yeah. the freezer will just get it like a Too block. And then, yeah. Oh, shit. God. That's That was the other challenge. I had to do this like I went to McDonald's kind of like right before we jumped on to record. And then when they didn't have it, I was like, fuck. Uh, is it, does it make any sense to shake it? Does that do anything for you? It's a shake. If, if, if I'm trying to revive it, I'm saying. If it is soupy. I would give that a nice, oh, 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 it's soupy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not soupy. I did put it in the freezer for the last like 20 minutes. Throw some ice in a blender and blend it. Ugh, it'll be watery. Nice day. Maybe some some slush puppy shit. Mike, you're gonna, you're, yours is going to be gorgeous. I am, I'm very excited because uh, I always forget that milkshakes, I love them, and I can make them in my own home. I forget about them. <laughs> they, they, they bring all the boys to the yard, don't they? Well, the way I do it? No. <laughs> not as much as Khalees. <laughs> nah. The way I do it? Nah. Khalees had it had all the boys to the yeah, yard. Yeah, she I had thought. it down. Yeah. All right. You want to go make these up? Yes, yes please. please. Folks. Here come the ads. We'll be right back. Shamrock shakes in hand. (gasps) And we're back. Shamrock shakes in hand. Look at him. Not soupy at all. I'm proud. And it's it's a small like I thought. So I'm right on board with you guys. Great. Nice. Mikey, how'd it go? Uh, pretty good. I can already tell it's pretty, it's pretty like more, I put milk in there too, which maybe <laughs> I put too much milk. I mean, that's what the recipes I saw called for. Uh, so we'll see. I, I got a feeling this is going to be a little different, but. The, uh, the, the, the whiskey watered mine down in a way that looks good. Uh, yeah. Mine was pretty thick. Sips? Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Sips. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Mintier than I thought. Like I, when I took my initial sip down, I was like, "Hey, they're not skimping on the mint. This is a mint shake." <laughs> um, the, the 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 Jameson and the vanilla of, of this mixed together to make a Bailey's flavor. It's like a mint Bailey's. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the, when I was looking for um, uh, <clears throat> recipes for these. That was a Bailey's uh, creme de menthe. Um, peppermint schnapps like these were kind of interchangeable so you can make them however right. you like but just put mm-hmm. the booze and the milk in there what are we calling this is it a is it a boozy shamrock shake is it a spiked shamrock shake is it a shamrock shake with whiskey spiked shamrock shakes got that nice alliteration yeah is it still does this is it still satisfying as alliteration though jeff this is more just a question for those yeah, uh, yes. it's an S, yes. but, it's, but with those H's <laughs> mixing things up. Spiked Shamrock Shake. Mm-hmm. Like if it was Spiked Samrock, that would, like that alliteration. Or Spiked Spamrock. Right. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I got to say, this taste is one of those things where like, the whiskey made it actually, to me, t- t- it mm. made it taste better. Like I took a sip and I was like, this is a delicious shake. I love Shamrock Shakes. And then now with the whiskey, I'm like, well, it's more refined, Tim. It's more balanced. Yeah, but even if it weren't, didn't have that delicious. I mean, I like booze because it gets me drunk. But I, I think this would even just be a taste for a, a good taste for a someone who wasn't even intending to get drunk. I guess that's a possible side effect from drinking. Yeah, like I would recommend this to non-drinkers. Let's say you're sober, you've been in recovery twenty-two years. I would not get involved. Try one of these. I would not get involved in this, folks. <laughs> You're going to ruin it for nothing. <laughs> for nothing. This, You know what this reminds me of? It doesn't have the taste of it, but it has the same like uh, feeling of drinking a spiked uh, eggnog. Where yeah. it's like, ooh, there's the there's the whiskey taste in the back of the throat. Yep. Oh, and yeah, you're right. There's, there's like the a creaminess. scratchiness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The back oh, of the throat comes. scratch. Um, 
I feel like my, my memory of McDonald's shakes is that they're like they're like too hard to drink with a straw when you first get them. Yes, but Jeff, McDonald's has a slightly wider gauge straw than the rest of the beverage world. Good, because I'm struggling with my straw, and it's not a McDonald's brand. It's not mm. a, their proprietary straw. Mine is, and I can tell it's just one extra millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy gauge. <laughs> You're falling in it. <laughs> but also, I wonder if the Shamrock Shake is soupier somehow. Maybe all that mint makes it soupy. Mm. Now... Well, you know what else I did with this? What? I got uh, what? I got I got cookies and cream ice cream instead of vanilla. <laughs> mm. Hey, wait a second! What? What? No, it's okay if I did that. There's <laughs> there's supposed to be a sh- um, an Oreo Shamrock Shake McFlurry currently available. What? And and, and I asked. And the guy said they didn't have them at that location. But Mike, if you're if you have you you're you're once again on trend. <laughs> wow. I know, accidentally, I know. but yeah, count it. <laughs> Wait, let me check this. Shamrock Mick Flurry. Well, the whole joke with them is that their ice cream machine is down, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, what is that? Just those machines don't work very well. I think the joke is that like um, employees don't like. They're like a pain in the ass to make, so they say it's down. Oh, right. that's interesting. Guys, this is brand new, hot uh, 2024 news that McDonald's released along with the Shamrock Shake. The this Oreo, year. Oreo Shamrock McFlurry. And that's just like soft serve ice cream, right? McFlurry, McFlurry? versus yeah, a shake. It's, but it's it just that the stuff, the stuff is swirled in like a blizzard. Evenly um, throughout. But that's, oh, that's very, uh, <laughs> very thin mint, right? Yeah. You guys ever do blizzards? DQ, Dairy Queen? Yeah, baby. Dennis the Menace running around that cup. (laughs) Yeah. Be chasing (laughs) them all around. (laughs) Jeff, what was the Foster's Freeze version that we used to get during the pandemic? I'll stop talking about the pandemic so much, but it did. It was <laughs> unprecedented. <laughs> that was, yeah. What the pandemic got, was. We got a bunch of uh, Foster's Free stuff and we ate it in Stony Sharp's backyard on his picnic table one time. It was like a ton, a ton of food. It was a, called a concrete, right? Um, Twister. Uh, yeah, Twister. Oh, okay. I, I'm, a concrete I've heard of too, though, and it might be a New England thing. No, sh- um, Shake Shack has concrete. Yeah, yeah, right. And I think they are just like harder. Is that the because it's like sucking on concrete? Hmm. Hmm. But that was very funny. I remember getting so much food from Foster's Free, like eating a chili dog and a double cheeseburger and all this shit, and then uh, getting drunk and just walking around Eagle Rock aimlessly. <laughs> yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> um, Damn, this is so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Milkshake man. Ice cream. It's all it's very good. What did you guys do for St. Patrick's Day last year? Because I think we've on pod shared old stories of St. Patrick's Day, but then when, what did we end up doing? Tam O'Shanter, right? Oh yeah. Me and Jeff went to the Tam O'Shanter. They had a uh, big yes. outdoor tent music playing. You had Got a guy a see you in an unfortunate state, didn't you? What yes, was what story? was going on with me? You're like, I was I choking? Either, like Maybe like puking or you're like <laughs> choking or, or just like he saw you peeing in a, on a tree or something. I ran out of the tent to go like choke or did I eat something that was too hot? Oh, why are you choking? No, this is what I did. <laughs> they had like a uh, corned beef and cabbage sandwiches mm-hmm. and um, and they also had roast beef sandwiches, but I had a corned beef and cab- cabbage sandwich, but they I took a cup of uh, <laughs> for the roast beef sandwiches. They had cups of horseradish and I oh, ate my yeah. sandwich and I finished it, but because I'm a weird guy, I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to take this horseradish as a shot. Hey, waste not, want not, yeah. <laughs> and I, but, I, but I thought it was going to be like a, um, you know, like be, uh, a health, like a uh, face melter. Uh, yeah, a, yeah, horse, yeah. a horseradish sauce rather than Opening just like your sinuses. straight root. So I, I was kind of, yeah, showing off for uh, Jeff and Mitch and Mookie. And I said, check this out. <laughs> it work? And, and we were impressed, Mike. We <laughs> were impressed. Jim is the king, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Worth He's it. He's eating the whole <laughs> a cup of horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> Especially it being like one of those one ounce plastic resealable yeah. things. Like, not like a stunt. You guys were like, it's always been our dream for a friend of ours to drink one of those. But I drank it. It was overwhelming. My eyes were watering and I was 
having a hard time. And I was like, oh, I need some air. So in the, the heat of the panic, I stepped out of the tent to, to, to run around the corner into a dark alley. And when I got there, a guy who was out there smoking a cigarette turned to me and was like, hey, man, love the sloppy boys. And I, I was like, <laughs> do they play any uh, jig music? They play Gardens of Gomorrah jig. No. <laughs> hey, maybe that should be the song we play at the end of this episode. Oh, very good. That's a good idea. Wait, no. Why not? Tim. Armageddon. Ah, yes, right. Armageddon. Oh, yes, it's that's a little that's more St. Patrick's Day. That's the pub song, song that's baby. Pub, that's a pub. Cry your eyes out and sing. That's true. We have several friends who said they listen to that song and cried. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. It's Why? Not, it's not made to be to bring tears. It's made to bring smiles, Mike. It's supposed to be fun, yeah. not sad. I think it makes people smile, but a few people. I think you really got you got your point across. I think they're just emotional. I don't think they're sad. I think they're feeling emotion. Yeah. Well, that's but they're good, so I guess. jammed up, they don't know what it is, you know? You're moving people with your mute with that's your good art, with, Jeff. That's good with music. But it's got to be just so. That's good with music. <laughs> that's good when, when music does that, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, would you change anything for, for a second round of one of these? I'm going to do the same thing I did, but no creme de menthe and just uh, vanilla vodka. Oh, I got to say. All of my whiskey sank to the bottom. Yeah, oh, I know. My, I just I had a, a big whiskey gulp. <laughs> That's why you have to stir it like a concharge. Con, con oh, aggressively from the bottom up? <laughs> from the bottom to the top. Aggressively. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to, um, hmm. you know, I, I think this was perfectly balanced taste wise, but if you're trying to get drunk, I think that 12 ounces of milkshake and two ounces of, uh, milk of of booze is not going to really do the trick so i guess i would make mine stronger maybe i'll put more whiskey but it's already warm i don't know man jeff you wouldn't want to drink a whole milkshake just to get one booze's worth of alcohol I'm like way down i'm like way down yeah i gotta figure yeah. out a new uh another drink around too oh this is what i was thinking maybe i'll maybe i'll put a little uh Maple syrup in this one too. You're putting mm. maple syrup in it. Your scotch, everything, everything. And that's what got me thinking about it because I'm thinking of I the know, you meant who's I like. <laughs> Tim, that's what I thought too. Now I feel like we were just last week we were drinking a drink that was like, you know, rum and honey. And you were like, you know, this reminds me is I should have whiskey and and maple. And it's like so similar. <laughs> <laughs> He's got maple on the brain, Tim. Yeah, that's so I'm mapleized. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got me mapleized. <laughs> who, who do we know that has a mapleizer that may be the culprit? Hey, maybe he's born with it. Maybe he's mapleized. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's mapleized. <laughs> maybe he's mapleized. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to make another round two. We'll be back here after this. back round two in the house uh i i just did a I, uh, whiskey ginger oh you pulled a handford in you ah uh, you went a different I, I, I'm, I'm out of milkshake i'm gonna finish this off and i'm gonna pivot to that because that's just a drink you can sit with you don't have to make a big deal out of it like you guys do now did you use the same like <laughs> you're classier you're kind of just a <laughs> yeah, little yeah. bit more laid back about it mm. um did you use the same type of whiskey that you used in your shake? Yeah, I'm on the Jameson train, baby. I like that. This is a trick I'll do sometimes at like a restaurant if I get a, you know, I get a Bloody Mary and it's like a big, huge tomato thing or, or and I'll say, hey, can I get a shot of vodka? Well, with vodka, yeah. it doesn't really matter. But lots of times if my drink's too weak, as I'm getting down, I'll say, can I get a shot of whatever the, the liquor is that's in here to kind of goose it up as you go? Hey, <laughs> I have That's a good technique. That's that's like a, an official Tim technique. I've seen you do it, I've, and you've talked about it on pod. And they kind of like it. I'll say, hey, Seems can good. I have a shot of rum, whatever branded it was in this drink? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, get a little of this yeah. guy. This guy's kind of cool, man. <laughs> He's cool, man. <laughs> hey, uh, your, your brunch is on us, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cooks are all high. I just want to hear about it. Uh, hey, have you ever heard this? Do you guys know what the opposite of a well drink is at a bar? Top shelf, uh, uh, or, or another name for? He's got uh, you. 
Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> it's true. What, I had never heard a call, either well drink or a call drink, because you have to call it by name. I was I was at a bar and I was like, oh, can I get a oh, uh, call me a, by your name? A shot of uh, whiskey. She's like, do you want well or call? And I was like, uh, what's the well? And she said it. And I was like, what's the call? <laughs> what does what call mean? <laughs> That's a waste of a question. Well or call? You just say what, say say what type of whiskey, and you would either say well or your brand. But well or call is like a- well, she well she was saying like well uh, well and call was the same price or something. I was like, oh, oh I didn't know that. Cool. That sounds like industry speak. She must have seen you and been like, this guy knows what call means. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'll have a whiskey <clears throat> on the rock. She's like, oh, this guy's been around. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, whiskey cool. on the rocks. That's a good tidbit, Mike. I never heard it. And I like yeah, adding call. that to my brain. Me too. Um, and this is, I mean, this they should sell this in restaurants. Maple, vanilla. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong. You're just adding your favorite flavors to ice cream and drinking it with booze to it. Booze add to it. But it was cookies and cream ice cream? (laughs) Cookies and cream ice cream, vanilla absolute, and... uh, You got a little kitchen sinky over there, Mike. Yeah, it's a little little too much. Uh, You doing little briars or little dryers? No haagen which I don't really like. Isn't that, doesn't haagen feel kind of like airy or light? Like you just scoop it right out. Like foam. Like Like ice cream foam. Yeah. Yes, it's a foam. It's a thick foam. Do you guys have um, an ice cream brand that's your hometown pride? Like in, like in Ithaca, they had Purity? Yeah, mm-hmm. Keller House. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keller House? Yeah, it's my my parents' old thing, but they got out the game, folks. Sure, but I, w- I would have thought that at Keller House, you would have been serving Briars or something. It was actually Keller. You were making the ice cream? Yes, it was made by Duddy. Wow, my and Duddy, Duddy Senior. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my my home one growing up was Demoulis Market Basket, like store bought. Demoulis, Demoulis, Demoulis. Yeah, it's like that's a um, Irish, not Irish, Greek, right? Yeah, Demoulis uh, sounds Greek. Demoulis Market Basket, they just like the brick of chocolate soft serve, or the not soft serve. Mm, yeah, yeah, chocolate, uh, just brick of yeah. chocolate. Um, brick of chalk. Some places, like I think, that, is it Bluebell or was some some pr- really proud regional ones? But in upstate New York, uh, um, and my family is really into this. There's a lot of upstate pride for Stewarts. Oh like, yeah, I would go to Stewarts on vacation. Did they have? They don't have mm. it out in Rochester though, right? No. Um, but Stewarts, it's it's a gas station, but all of their drinks and ice creams and stuff are their own brand. And the there's like 50 flavors of ice cream. They do sodas too, right? That's different. The orange soda and the root beer. That's like a different Stewart's, which is Damn. maddening. Oh, I always so thought be that like was Stuart Little and Patrick Stewart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, one's a mouse and one's uh, taller. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but in Stewart's taller. news, there's a lot of Stewart's passion in my family, and my parents just told me that. They came out with a drink that is like a shamrock shake, but it, it's not frozen. It's like a, a a milky drink that's in the fr- or the refrigerator refrigerator section, but it's green and it's like a knockoff of a shamrock shake. Ooh, this I'm already this is a little a little drunk here. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> mine is good. I I I added ice to mine because it was too melty, uh, which is kind of nice to get this sound. Oh yeah, clonk, 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 that is clonk. a clonker. And then I added two more ounces of whiskey and that drowned out all the taste and now it just tastes like creamy whiskey. Yeah. I mean, this, the, we had a good balance earlier, I thought. Yeah. Two ounces of whiskey to the 12 ounce, whatever. 10 so ounce? 12 ounce. If you're like me and you're impatient because you want to get drunk without having to have like 600 calories of ice cream, maybe you're you're trying to take in shots of your whiskey and using the the shim shake as a as a as a back. Ooh, ice cream chaser. Back. Yeah. Well, final thoughts. We kind of we kind of just gave the rundown. We like it. Yeah, we really like it. Let's order again. Order yeah. again. It's an annual tradition. I love it. Very now, fun. what's stopping us from doing this year round? The, Nothing. It's not available. No, but I mean, you could get a vanilla and put a little drop of. Uh, Mint I, extract. Yeah, I think that I would say the creme, <laughs> the creme, we all have bottles of big green creme de menthe yeah. on our shelves. We should be pouring that in, in vanilla shakes. You got to use round. it up, folks. If you're following along and buying all the bottles, Ooh. you got a nice big bottle of creme de menthe. What about, what about, uh, we got this banana liqueur too, that in oh, some, uh, yeah, why do we have that? I pulled that out the other day. What was that in? I don't know. Oh, fuck. But you put that in some ice cream? 
Yeah, that would be really good in a vanilla shake. What was that in? Hmm. The Donkey Kong Arita? No. Well, <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> during the great episode, guys. Uh, I wanted mm. to ask, um, at Thank one you. point, one of you guys um, mentioned that this um, – this milkshake is green. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's this going, Tim? You seem a uh, and you know you guys mentioned St. Patrick's Day, which is like a lot of people will wear green and drink green beer. Sure. Yeah. Color. Okay, so you, you you're familiar with that color. Mm-hmm. Sure. Green. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you know the color green, <laughs> but have you heard of the green quiz? <laughs> I knew that. I knew that was coming. Oh, I knew Timmy, that was coming. you scared the daylights out of me. No, I, I knew it. I was prepared for. I, I knew work he was on up my, to uh, my poker face a little bit better. Poke, 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 poker face. Poke, poker face. Lady Gaga. Okay, but on a serious note, guys, here we go. Um, this is a quiz hosted by me with you two as the contestants, mm. and it's sort of a <laughs> Java lanch of questions. Lots of them are going to be coming right at you, and you guys are going to be ducking, bobbing, weaving, answering. Do we know yeah. how many questions in this Java lanch? Um, a lot. There's a lot. Um, too many. And uh, but then the winner gets to be the Prince of Saint Patrick's Day. Ooh. Oh, okay. I mm. want that. Here yeah, we go. That'd be nice. The with the green quiz. Question number one. On Saint Patrick's Day, this city dyes their river green. Chicago. Chicago. Michael gets it. And oh, that was oh. Jeff. You were right there, but I'm just, Mike made it all the way from Brooklyn to my ears before you. So he, he probably sent it, said it minutes ago. And I'm right down yeah. the street. Plus I mentioned Chicago earlier. So that should have counted. Shy town. Now I'm going to mention it right now to say that we're playing two shows there in April mm, at yeah. beat kitchen or the 25th and 26th. We're going to be at beat kitchen, Chicago. And the 27th, we're going to be at the cactus club in Milwaukee. Come see us rock and roll. Tim, I'm going to, I'm going to do you, I'm going to do you one better. <laughs> Two weeks prior on the 13th and 14th, I'm going to be at Lincoln Lodge doing stand up comedy. But you're too many Chicago trips, Mike. I know. This is. <laughs> they never seem to, to line up how you want, huh? <laughs> like you just kind of fly back and forth to Chicago. I just really didn't put together that we were playing like right after that. So don't leave me hanging, folks. Give me tickets too. <laughs> <laughs> well, go buy those tickets and then uh, uh, pause this and then uh, buy the tickets and come back. And that's time for the green quiz. More questions <laughs> for the green quiz. Okay. I'm up one nothing. <clears throat> This Candy's green mascot traded in her high heel boot. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, Michael I knew it. Fuck. Hanford. You got to think, Jeff. Green is my favorite color. <laughs> so he's doing research all year. I got to think that. I take note of. I'm in the middle of the quiz, and I got to think that your favorite things. color is green now. Yeah. I bet you my, my background on my computer is just green. <laughs> you got to think that, Jeff. You got to think that. <laughs> I don't think you thought that. <laughs> That's your problem. I don't, what, honestly, what were you thinking? That's the issue. <laughs> what did here. you well, think? Mike, I know you're not lying because you did have a lovely green Gatorade sweater, I remember. Oh, yeah. Still V-neck. Neck. That's Still a good it. V-neck. Like wore that to sweater. Tim's party when I saw uh, Lizzie Kaplan get her Stubber toe. Stubborn toe, yeah. Oh, right. And yeah, you brought yeah. a big beer with a bow on it. That's right. <laughs> well, anyway, back to the quiz. <laughs> yes. Question three. Whoops. This alt-rock band jumped the shark. Three-day. With a certain St. Patrick's colored rock album. Weezer. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> and that's your favorite band, Jeff. Okay, this one is for Jeff. The Green Power Ranger is named this. Tommy. You nailed it, Jefferson. Dr. Tommy Oliver. I'm glad to not know that. I'm glad when to not When did he become know. a doctor? <laughs> uh, I think after the show ended, he got his PhD. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay. Here we go. Next question. This unfunny actor played the Green Lantern. Ryan Reynolds. I refuse to say it. <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> I refuse I, to say it. <laughs> I refuse to out that man as being as unfunny <laughs> as he is. Hey, speaking okay. of unfunny, I saw a poster for uh, a John Cena movie with God, who is the guy they paired him with? They did the thing where you put two people who are in comedies together, but they're not the funny person. Oh, yeah. John Cena was like doing the heavy lifting. Fucking fake hair. Oh, freak. yeah. It's like it's like they they're... it's like it's like Nikki Persnicki or something. Right. Like that. It's it's like he's playing their friend or so. Uh, yeah, I saw the premise of this movie. Um, Nikki Persnickety. I think that's something like that. Ricky Stanicki, and it's <laughs> Ricky Stanicki. a Farrelly Brothers movie. Hey, 
Um, see if you can guess Speaking who Speaking of Green who, Book. Who, who would you pair John Cena with if you're making a dipshit comedy? Uh, uh, you know, Kevin Hart? Zach Efron. Okay, back to the quiz. Ugh. That's, it's the same guy they paired The Rock with for uh, Baywatch. <laughs> Fuck my life. When you're right, you're right, Tim. Did you see Iron Claw? Did you see I that? No, I want shit. to. I want to. I'd rather I see, that. see it. Hey, I got to see Dune 2. two. Yes, you do. <laughs> Dune yeah. 2. You, you saw it? I saw it last night at Rips. Oh, for crying out No, but my ways. thing is that the, the soda looks weird. The soda? The, the popcorn bucket. Fuck, the popcorn it's, bucket. I, why would I say soda? Of course it's the popcorn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, next question on the green quiz. <clears throat> Not only does this low chuckler smoke a lot of green, he played... Seth Rogen. The Green Hornet. There you Damn, go. Damn, low chuckler. How wow. about this? Green Hornet directed by... Michelle Gondry. For a uh, point, Jeff, for an extra point. Do I get oh, a point for that? Yeah, you get I think a point. So. Mike, I don't know. you don't want to do that so much, but yeah, that does count. Um, <laughs> you don't do that Mike, so did you know that's where I was going with the question? Green Hornet? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this actor was originally slated to play Ace Ventura. Yes, this is true. Tom but, Green? But later, he played the Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe. Oh, Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Jefferson gets it. Willem Dafoe. Isn't that weird? <laughs> there was like a more dour, dark version of Ace Ventura before Jim Carrey did a punch-up pass. Weird. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this froggy guy became an alt-right alt -right icon. Uh, Pepe. Mike gets it. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> you know, I called Weezer an alt rock band. So then when I saw alt right here, I said alt rock. It's kind of the type of thing that happens on the green quiz. What's, this, what's the scoreboard looking like these days? Uh, Mike has uh, one, two, three, four, five, and you have four. Very close. Mm, okay. um, to be fair, I gave one of those points to Jeff. And, yeah. uh, gave. Please, I earned it. <laughs> you're, you're complaining about it now. <laughs> you brought it up. Okay. Next question. Wrinkly and green he is. Yoda. Yoda. Jefferson. What the hell? This is good. We're tied up. Rocking, rocking aim. This green skinned <laughs> punk bully, Doug. Roger, Roger. Klotz. Yes. Fuck, fuck. fuck. He had the last name too. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's that quick. <laughs> this guy's friends with Donkey. Trek. Trek. <laughs> Michael. Fuck. That Trek. was neck and neck. <laughs> this 24 hour period. Lent its name to Mike Dernt's band. Green, Green Day. Michael. No, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> These emerald jersey bean town bouncers certainly love to dribble. Celtics. Celtics. Yes, Michael. Okay. They do love to dribble. I guess they they just have to dribble. I don't know if they love it. Um, <laughs> you don't have to worry, wow. don't worry about it. They probably love that. it more than the common man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They're better at it than the common man. This glowing substance is quite often to, yes, o ooze. to a certain <laughs> Daily Planet journalist. Jefferson is <laughs> on the board. Well written. Thank you. Um, I'm actually an Emmy nominated writer. Up next, <clears throat> yuck. Ipecac causes this liquid to be projected from the stomach. Vomit. Yes, Mike, you got it. I would, have I would have accepted puke or vomit or barf, and uh, Mike said it first. All right. <clears throat> Mike, why are you this fast in Fortnite? Sometimes you're like kind of holding up the squad. <laughs> oh, you have to tear him down. He's yeah. having a good moment. You need to. He's joking, I hope, because I got I won twice today. You, what were you doing playing during the day on a I take a day? little break and play. All right. <laughs> Some from time, from time hey, to time. He's quick like lightning. Here on the pod. <clears throat> Here we go. When shinging a ribeye, you may find these upon your toothpick. Well, olives. Pimento M olives. To Michael be gets quite it. precise. When, when whating your ribeye? Shing. Shinging. Shing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen mm. to Sloppy Boys podcast, you'll get it, Jeff. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yuck. Tim unfortunately paired this green cocktail with his lamb Grasshopper. kidneys. Yes, <laughs> at Musso and Frank. Yucks. <laughs> All right. Next up. Hmm. It would be challenging for me to witness a poster of this froggy guy on Gonzo on an adult's Kermit. wall. Kermit. Uh, Wait, I, I, 
Yeah, okay, because yeah. I said froggy guy. Uh, you did, but I, I was like, I didn't remember where that meme came from. Our, uh, people, listeners were memeing you. Remember or, Tim had that story of like, if he saw his kid, or no, no, his, his friend in college had <laughs> Muppets on his wall. He was like, he didn't, if he was a dad. That would be would challenging that. for me to witness. When, yeah. when I yeah. see <laughs> a, an adult who is um, have, has Muppet pictures on the wall, it's challenging. Yeah, it's challenging, challenging for me to witness. <laughs> All right. What was the make and model of Tim's old green car? Mm, Honda Civic. Yes. Extra point. Eight. An extra point. If you can. Wait, how much is when you say extra point, you mean one or is it maybe multiple? Uh, Mm. It's three extra points. If you can, (laughs) if you remember the nickname of my car. Uh, hmm. Oh, great. Yeah, that was called. It has green, the word green in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green meanie. Close. Green, Green bean. Levine. Greeny Levine. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I think that was a me and Shiner kind of a nickname. <laughs> All right. Uh, currently, when you go over to Tim's place, you'll find that this uncouth seat is green. Toilet. Toilet. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens there is a little bit uncouth. Yeah, that's true. Well, un- no, I don't think it's uncouth. I think we need to get away from the, the uh, this idea that passing waste is so gross, so <laughs> <Passing> wrong. <waste. laughs> I don't know, man. I, I get some waste in me. I keep it in there. I'm classy. All uh, right. I have a doctor remove it. <laughs> <laughs> you go he, to, take, he takes the, the turd out long ways like this. <laughs> he cuts down the colon, removes the does he, turd. Does he put you out for that or you wake for that? <laughs> At this point, I don't need it. It's tw- twice a day. <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> uh, he doesn't bother even stitching it up. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> This former member of the UCB Herald team arts and athletics now owns a green suit. What Canford? What? How long is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. We're in the home stretch. Oh God. Mike Hanford once sang a song about this Dr. Seuss character. The Grinch. Jefferson. Oh, he is quite green, isn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeff is a freak for this citrus fruit. Slime. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's Mike. You guys are what real close. No, this is a connection thing because I'm firing away on all He's these a shits. Freak for this thing. Final question: <laughs> Jeff's oh. home state and Mike's home state once fought over the land that now makes up this Green Mountain Vermont. state. Jefferson uh, is on the board, but it was not enough to catch up to Michael Hanford, the winner it was, of man. the Green Quiz and the St. Patrick's Day Prince of 2024. Nice. Hmm. You know what I'd like for my. Uh, for my uh, my winning prize here is to have Jeff sing the first verse of Danny Boy. That's your one win. I forgot <laughs> oh, to mention Danny the, the Boy. <laughs> the cups, right, the that's cups are for me. <laughs> That was right. his one wish. Everybody yeah. knows that that's what the prince gets. Who am I to deny the prince's wish? <laughs> That's our show. Follow us on social media at The Sloppy Boys, where we release these recipes ahead of time. And if you can't get enough boys, go to your computer terminal. Go to the URL, patreon.com slash the sloppy boys. Plunk down the five and get double the pleasure every month. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I love it. I love this shake. I can't wait to see you guys very soon. Yeah, yeah, man. Get your butt out of here to LA. We're gonna partizzle for shizzle. I'll get it out there. Great episode, dudes, and great episode. Those of you listening at home, and to you, Jeff, and yours. Hey, hey thank you, and to St. Patrick's for ridding Ireland of those snakes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Thank you. Um, we should do um a sketch comedy mashup that's like snakes on a plane, but it's like, I'm tired of all these motherfucking snakes on in this Ireland country. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. And here it is the, from the album <laughs> Paradiso, the sloppy boys hit Armageddon. Armageddon. Bye folks. Bye. Bye. all here full of whiskeys and beers yeah we're gonna get sloppy tonight 
It's gonna toss a few back, bottoms up down the hatch, even though we're dropping like flies. You remember old Marty was the life of the party, settled down with his wonderful wife. I heard the poor bastard finally got his masters, but what can I tell you, that's life. We said our goodbyes, yeah, we lost a good guy, yeah, sometimes he's In Armageddon And Jenny, you know, had a heart made of gold We all thought she'd end up okay But despite all her promise, I gotta be honest She's ten months sober today And what about Bertrand, king of the cake stand To work hard, play hard